but last time I uh, took one of these spaces, someone goes, excuse me, are you disabled? And I said, call the police. And the police turned up and just drove straight past me. And they're gonna go up to the front and go, what's the problem? Oh, there's another car. Good oh. shot there from Tate! Girls love money, and that's not entirely true. parking disabled bays. I'm not a bad person, but I'm a quick person. Most people are slow and stupid. I'm fast. There was no hurt people in wheelchairs trying to use this space in those 45 seconds it took me to buy this. So no, no one loses. But last time I uh, took one of these spaces, someone goes, excuse me, are you disabled? And I reply, I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> and their face was like, <laughs> perfect answer. Perfect answer. Man. Reply like a then what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm the same <laughs> Don't be rude to me. <laughs> Fuckers. Put on your seatbelt, young man. Storm Jim Luton, where myself, my brother, and many other great fighters were trained and made. Now, young Mike has never fought a day in his life. So we decided to put him through what we call the shark tank. One round with each fighter, one after the other. He did three rounds, and well, here's a compilation of Mike's greatest hits. He doesn't know what block means.
Come on, Mike. Hands up, let's go. One minute. Punch him, Mike. Punch him fast. Punch him, Mike. Man up. Is he Romanian? Punch him. Is he Romanian? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on. Punch, punch. Oh, cool, man. Let's go. Punch. Come on, punch him. Punch him, Mike. Punch him! Come on! Punch him! You can't come to the gym and not... You punch him! Let's go! You punch him! Go! That's it! Other! Four punches! Go! Go! Go, Mike! Go, Mike! Come on! Welcome to Storm Gym! <laughs> punch! Punch! Punch the belly! Punch, Mike! Come on! Body man, harder. Oh. Come on, brother. Even your girlfriend likes it harder than that, man. Jesus. Get up, get up, get up. It's gonna be ground and pound. One, two, come on, three. Forty seconds. Let's go. Forty seconds. Last round. Finish strong. Finish strong. Move it. Come on. Come on, Vlad the Impaler. Let's go. Kick him in the nuts. Do something. Careful with the head, just. But I'm going to take Mike on a tour through Luton. Now, Luton is a town about the size of Brashov, slightly bigger actually, much richer because it's in the United Kingdom. But Luton is a failed city, completely failed in every way. So here we go, Luton Town Center. The saddest thing about this town, this over here is a war memorial has all the names of all the men from Luton who died during World War II to defend this country. And now the country's turned to shit. Sorry, I'm sorry to help you get into a night show. No, man. We didn't understand shit anyway. He was asking me for money. Yeah. Look at this place. I'm on edge as well. I'm coming up to the acid for lighter. Weirdo is drunk. I'm just kidding. No one speaking English. It's a failed society. Yeah, this, is the, this is the center of the city. This building used to be a cinema when I first moved to Luton. It's been closed for about 14 years and nothing has reopened there. This is England. Now keep in mind, Mike, Romanian people leave Romania to live and work here. Huh? As I told you, that, that people that don't, did, like, that didn't travel before, they, they're thinking it's some, yeah. some wow, some other countries, wow, amazing. Failed but this, society. <laughs> it's this like, is a failed society. Yeah. Right, how many hot Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Zero. What's more back? shopping mall right here a few weeks ago when my mother was in there two dudes ran in with knives started stabbing each other one of them died right here extract I'll, I'll point to it there's a little plaque it's up here somewhere and memorial to a policeman who was standing around being a policeman and some African dude attacked him with a knife and stabbed him to death in the middle of everybody here there's a plaque right here I'm gonna show you don't fix the problems with the country just give him a little memorial plaque that makes it all better I don't fix the inherent, inherent problems with this nation. Let's just leave little plaques to the, the stabbed, dead, innocent English police officer. And hold that camera tight because it's worth money, so we might try and wipe it off. I'm from Romania and oh, I wouldn't go. move here. Here for LPC, Jonathan Charles Henry. 11th of June 2007. Poor guy, just standing around doing his job. Some fucking lunatic stabbed him to death right here in the street. Right, now we're going to enter the one and only shopping mall in the city, which is in the center. 
people get stabbed in here too. Oh, and obviously we've got this thing with everything closes at 6 p.m. So at 6.01, everything will be shut. The oh, Romanians. Yeah. The bad ones. Yeah. 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 He's digging cigarettes out the ashtray to smoke. Bro. Failed society. Shopping malls. Alright, but look at the people in it. This is, this is, this is wonderful. I would hate. It's important for society to be like this. I would ha hate my country as well. If that was the case, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's totally lost. I left. It's failed. How are you going to fight this? What, what can I do? Even as rich as I am, what am I supposed to do? Why, why would you stay if there's no more if, or, of your own people? And then all these people have English passports. So they're not even foreigners. <laughs> these guys are right now. <coughs> Those guys with the turbans are like seats of the people. They work as like lawyers and doctors. You know what I mean? They're smart and they They're the good ones. They're the people you that society should want. I, Tristan Tate, used to work here for a few months, putting things on shelves, filling the shelves up in the shop. So right here. A man of my intellect. Stacking shelves of fucking shampoo. England has not always been a failed society. There are some nice things in every English town. So here we are in Luton, and I'm about to take you to a nice place in Luton because they do exist. But this building, I think, is over 300 and something years old and people built this house back before England was a failed society so now it's a hotel so we're gonna see you have a ride Somebody built this as his house. And then he passed it down to the various generations of his family. And one guy in his family got into debt and ended up having to sell the estate, which is now bought by a hotel company. And then he killed himself in this house. That's a true story. Uh, so saw the plaque where the policeman was stabbed to death. Saw the war memorial of all the men who fought and died for nothing. Walked through the mall. Fail. Society. So you've been gallivanting all day. What's your plan? I was. They must be. He must have called the police to go there. And now they're going there to find out what the problem is. And the problem's me. And I'm leaving. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Morons. It's idiots. We were taking pictures, and some guy said, stop taking pictures. And I said, call the police. And then the police turned up and just drove straight past me. And they're going to go up to the front and go, what's the problem? Oh, there's another car. Sorry, officers. <laughs> oh, we're here. Some guy was taking pictures. Well, he's gone now. <laughs> Fuck, what a waste of police time. Jesus. Failed society. So what do you think? Is Mike going to do it? Put one bowl of soup. Like Andrew's saying, you can't eat one bowl of soup. Then you're a This is your turn. My chance to redemption. To redemption, yeah. Yeah. Finish the bowl without taking hours of pussy. Just eat it normally. And you can be a chance. It's his first pepper soup ever. To teach him, to teach him some power. To learn. Okay, here we go. One bowl of soup. There are bones in the meat, so pick the bones out. Yeah, you got just, 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 just try some of the broth first. Okay, thank you. One bowl of soup, bro. 
Jesus. <laughs> Who was this? <laughs> they made of only spices, I mean. It's called pepper soup. It's made of peppers. Andrew believes in you. <laughs> I think you're a punk. One bowl of soup separates being a boy from being a man. Me and Andrew used to eat this before every kickboxing fight. Yeah. Gives you, gives you power. Good for my cold. <laughs> it is actually, no, it, if you're sick, it cures you. We're sick, we used to eat Now you see when Romanians tell me something spicy, why I laugh at them. Because it doesn't exist. It's fake news. Romanians watching this won't understand because they've never tasted anything like it. <laughs> And they eat these, they, they enjoy it. Yeah, it's good for you, it makes you strong. I enjoy it. If you no, I tell I'm you, actually quite enjoy it, but it's killing me right now. It'll fix your cold, it'll give you energy. An hour from now, I'm, I'm being serious, it's not a joke. An hour from now, tell me if you feel tired or if you feel, it's like taking cocaine, it's crazy. Yeah. An hour from now, you're gonna feel like really awake and energetic. You should eat it before training. It gives you power, for real. You've got control. That's a secret, though. It is our secret. You know what he talks about? Exactly. Fucking that place. Yeah. How do, you think I, how do you think I have sex with so many women, Mike? Years of pepper soup. Exactly. Did you like doing it? Oh, are you enjoying it? <laughs> White boys. It's, it's from Romania. <laughs> We're trying to teach him. <laughs> <laughs> It's spicy at the bottom. The bottom, yeah. Yeah, because you both spicy. Spices are at the bottom. All the spices sink, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike. There you go. My trip, when I used to eat it, I ate all the meat first, all the chunks of meat first, and I drank the broth at the end from the bowl. <laughs> it's pain in his face. This is what London has instead. What the fuck is wrong with this country? It's literally people who will stab you. Failed society. It is a failed society. So here we are in the great city of London. Hell on earth worst city that there is. I cannot believe anyone would leave Bucharest and come to live and work here. It's cold. It's August and I'm cold. Looking at everyone, everyone looks like a drug addict or a scumbag. I have to watch my back, keep my fist clenched in case someone comes out of the way and stabs me, is trying to steal my watch. And like you joke, Google crime in London. Google. London is that thing.